It's a hit. I know it right now. Pretty racy video. Pretty, pretty risque. It's like one of the Jonas Brothers. Oh, I know this guy. I'm not sure his name is Sean or not. Is this Sean Mendez? Oh, good, I knew it, I knew it, I'm so excited. Well, I like the intro. I love this music already. Let's go! Dancing music, I like that. And he's awfully cute. Look, I can look, right? Well, this is sort of a Latin flair to it. La, la, la. Soft, gentle, caressing, like the waves in the sea. Obviously, there's something about a love story between the two. This is more like old school to me. I don't know, you can understand the words. They're not saying the F word. They're not saying these, they're not calling women the B word. We dance for hours in the Sultry. They'd be a good looking couple. Nice hook up there. I mean, match up. Come on. What's not to like, right? It's a real romantic view. They're hot. I like the song, too. They are back on the motorcycle with that helmet and in shorts. I wish it was a but that's not what I'm supposed to be looking at, is it? But I'm a mother. Wow. <laughs> Gotta put the helmet on. So far, I really like this video. It's sexy, but in an artistic way, not in a graphic way. It's romantic. It's not sexy. It's not too much. Okay, now we're at the hotel room. <laughs> Clothes are coming off, people. What, they just knew each other? This is a good first date. Because <laughs> I, I don't think they knew each other. Sexy sales. Uh, I wouldn't have my grandkids watch this. It's pretty racy video. Pretty, pretty risque here. Now we know what happened, right? The curtains open, now it's morning. Mm -hmm. It was good, it was all suggestive. It was a lot of sexy poses between the two of them, romance, romantic. Didn't have to be in your face once again. And then the lights come on and it's after the fact. And implied is sexier than in your face. Oh. This is great. Young love, the future is bright. It's a hit. I know it right now. See, this goes back to melody and, and verse and something we all understand, at least in my league. Beautiful. He's left her. She looks very unhappy. Beautiful scenery. He's gone and, oh, he left her. Yeah, whoever directed this gets it. Good job, Dave Meyer. I love it. I would hit replay, replay, replay. The song's beautiful, the video's beautiful. That's really nice. That young, hot love that you go through. It, it's different when you get older. You still have that first hot part of the, being in love with someone or having a crush on someone, but there's nothing like when you're young. All right, so before we talk about the music video that you just watched, this was one of the biggest videos this week, so we wanted to be sure to cover it. Well, I'm glad to hear that. 
I really am. So although this might have been more suitable for another generation, we happen to have the elders coming in today. So we figured that having an elder's perspective on this was really interesting. For another generation, in other words, we would be shocked by it. If you watch TV and movies these days, this is very innocent. So this was a new single titled Senorita by two of the biggest pop singers right now, Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes. Oh, Camila Cabello, okay. Have you heard of either of them before today? No, although of course, I'm not that young. No, that doesn't mean much. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I'm, of them? I still think about Frank Sinatra. <laughs> no, I've never heard of them. I don't follow it too much, but they get my vote. I want to adopt them as children, as my kids. Sean, yes. I've heard, I did hear of Camilla. Yeah, I've heard of him and I've seen him on TV, but Sean Mendes, I mean, he's everywhere. You have to hear of him. I heard of him many, many, uh, for a few years, actually. Her, no, I have never heard of before. Where have you heard of Sean Mendes? Uh, my daughter. Yeah, uh, I know that she buy his uh, music through iTunes, and she has gone to a couple of uh, concerts. Camila rose to fame back in 2015 with the girl group Fifth Harmony. I had heard of that. Uh-huh. Fifth uh, Harmony. But later on, she started her own solo career where she's won numerous awards and has even been nominated for a couple of Grammys just with her first solo album. Wow. Sean started to gain a following back in 2013 when he would post song covers online. And as of filming this episode, he currently has over 20 million followers on Twitter and over 45 million followers on Instagram. I wouldn't doubt it. I'm gonna ask my kids and my grandkids. <laughs> I'm sure they're one of the followers. This song was actually not their first collaboration together as they sang I Know What You Did Last Summer back in 2015, so many fans were excited to see them with a song together once again. In music there have been many big collaborations, but now it seems that it's even easier for music artists to collaborate. Absolutely, because with YouTube and social media, it's all in the artist's hands now. Have there been any collaborations between big artists that you remember from when you were growing up that were a really big deal? Laurel and Hardy were big. You know who Laurel and Hardy is? No. The Marx Brothers? No, you don't know who that is either. Uh, Simon and Garfunkel. Those guys had some very famous songs. Bowie and um, Mick Jagger did Dancing in the Streets, which I just I love that. I enjoyed that because they're two of my favorites. Donnie and Marie Osmond, you know, you know, even though they're brother and sister, you know, they always do a lot of duet, you know, type of thing. And and Shirley Wes and uh, uh, Frizzell, you know, so, so all that, you know, is is it's there. When I was real young, it was still some of the the old timers doing duets together, Sinatra doing with this one, or, or Dean Martin doing with this one. That you know, I always enjoyed watching, but. It's great to see great talent come together. Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell, Marvin Gaye and Diana Ross, big heavy hitters came together. You're already in love with each artist, and then for them to come together, to just icing on the cake. Of course they do. I mean, you're, you're, you're walking right into my breadbasket, kid, because we did produce uh, my partner all the time. He was the talent. Snuff Garrett, we did produce Sonny and Cher. So going back to the song, as of filming this episode, this music video has gained over 80 million views in just four days and was one of the most watched videos on YouTube this week. Oh my goodness, 80 million. So it's being shared and shared and shared. What do you think it is about this video and song that made it so popular? First of all, the fact it's so beautiful the way it's made. The colors blend and it, it, it's really lovely, well done. I think people was waiting for it. If they have a good hit, you know, previously, people are looking forward to it. They each have power in their own right, so when you put them together, it just must have blown up because of that. Sex sells, always has, always will. We can redefine it any way we want as generations move forward, but sex sells, and they're two good-looking, sexy people. The music sounds good. Okay, like if if I wasn't looking at a video, I would just love the music by itself. So Camila, she's just 22 years old and Sean is only 20. Oh my God. <laughs> Both of them have a predominantly younger fan base. Many have said that this video is very sexual. 
and even has an insinuated sex scene, with many fans suggesting that they're actually dating after the release of this video. Do you think that it's an artist's responsibility to make sure that their videos are deemed appropriate for their audiences? Or do you think it's up to the audience to kind of make that choice for themselves? Well, that's up to the audience side. They're just trying to make a product that's successful so they can make the money and make more of them and whatever. But those two people are good looking and young and healthy and they should be together. Heck, the heck, heck, people want to see that. They have to draw a line somewhere, you know, and, but remember they're both over 18, which is adult, you know, and what I've seen in the video is it's nothing close to even Ray R. It's artist choice. I, I don't think it's inappropriate with all the younger audience has already seen. Any fool my age, usually, who thinks it's inappropriate has not been watching television, YouTube, whatever's going on. Artists have to be careful about what they're putting out there. If they want it to continue being watched, if they want it to take them to the next level, they have to be careful of what they're putting out there. I believe in the media uh, initiating values. It's not really totally the responsibility of parents and the viewers but it is a big responsibility of the media. So you were saying you wouldn't let your grandkids watch this? Because they would think it's okay. You know, at, at first meeting, you could do whatever you want. You could let go of your hormones, so to speak. So finally, what two artists, alive or dead, would you want to see collaborate on a song together? Oh! Who would I want to collaborate on a song? Oh, Jennifer no. Hudson and Fantasia, because they are just packed with soul, and and um, I think that they would really sell a lot of records. Frank Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald, they're my two favorite singers. And they both have great voices, and they both have great showmanship. It's kind of mushy, but I would like to see John and Paul perform again together and, and make their amends and write one terrific, fabulous last song. Adele, sing with Michael Bublé. Good one, huh? Tony Bennett and Beyonce, that'd be fun. Because her voice is so magical and he's so, his voice is no longer magical, but he's so, he's magical. You know, he's just amazing. So, and she's amazing, so that would be fabulous. Thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. Shout out to Laugh Out Loud, great name. Make sure you hit the bell and subscribe. What did you think of this collaboration? Let us know in the comments. Hey everyone, Lauren Producer here at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Did you know we have awesome t-shirts and hoodies? Go to shopfbe.com so you can help support the channel and look good doing it.